Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into four self-hosted photo and file management tools, PhotoPrism, Image, Nextcloud, and FileRun. If you're tired of trusting big tech with your photos or just want more control over your digital life, this video is for you. These tools let you run your own server, keep your data private, and manage your media your way. I'll walk you through what each one does, give you the nitty gritty on their features, and then compare them head to head to figure out what is best for what. Whether you're a pro photographer, a casual phone snapper, or someone who just needs a file hub, I've got you covered. Grab a snack. This is going to be a good one. Let's jump in. First up, Photo Prism. This is an open source gem built for photo lovers who want privacy and power. You host it yourself, maybe on a home server, a NAS, or even a Raspberry Pi if you're feeling scrappy. Photo Prism's big claim to fame is its AI smarts. It auto tags your photos. Think sunset dog, or birthday, and it's got facial recognition to group pics of your friends and family. It supports a ton of formats, JPEG, RAW, videos, you name it. The interface? A gorgeous web app that feels snappy and modern. No native mobile app though. You'll use it as a progressive web app on your phone, which works fine for browsing. For uploads, it plays nice with web DAV or third-party apps like PhotoSync on iOS. What else? It's got location mapping, pulls EXIF data to show where shots were taken, and a slick search that lets you filter by tags, dates, or even camera type. I tested it with a 5,000 photo library, and it handled like a champ, though the initial indexing took a couple hours. Downsides? Multi-user support and some advanced features are locked behind a paid tier, about $35 a year, but the free version is plenty for solo users. If you're a photographer or just hoard pics like me, Photo Prism feels like a dream come true. Next up, we have Image. This one's the new kid on the block, and it's gunning to replace Google Photos for self-hosters. Like Photo Prism, you can run it on your own server. But Image's focus is speed and mobile integration. The killer feature? Official apps for iOS and Android. You can set it to auto backup every photo you snap. Super handy if you're always on your phone. It's got AI tagging too. Objects, scenes, faces, and a timeline view that's buttery smooth. I uploaded a thousand pics from my phone and it processed them in under an hour, which is wild. Image also lets you share albums, search by tags or metadata, and even maps your photos with reverse geocoding. It's got multi-user support baked in so your family can have their own libraries. But here's the catch. It's still in active development. I hit a couple bugs like a stuck upload that needed a restart and some features like custom thumbnail sizes aren't there yet. Still, it's fast thanks to parallel processing and the mobile first design is a game changer. If you want that Google Photos vibe without the cloud, images your pick. Just be ready for occasional growing pains. Now, next cloud. This one's a beast. It's not just for photos, it's for full self-hosted cloud platforms. Think Dropbox, Google Drive, and a photo manager rolled into one. For photos, it's got an app called Memories plus official mobile apps for Android and iOS. You can auto-upload pics from your phone, browse them in a timeline, and even do basic edits like cropping or rotating. The Recognize add-on brings face and object detection, though it's not as polished as Photo Prism's AI. I tried it with a shared album for a family trip. Super easy to collaborate. Nextcloud's strength is its versatility. It syncs files, handles calendars, even runs a chat app if you want. It's perfect for multi-user setups. Set up accounts for your whole crew with custom permissions. But that power comes with complexity. Setup took me longer than the others. And with a 10,000 photo library, it chugged a bit on my old server. You'll need decent hardware to keep it smooth. If you want an all-in-one solution where photos are just a part of the package, Nextcloud's your go-to. Last but not least, we have File Run. This one's the minimalist of the bunch. A lightweight, self-hosted file manager that does photos too. You won't get AI bells and whistles here, but it's dead simple. The web interface is clean. Think thumbnails, metadata previews, and a timeline sort. You can group pics into virtual albums without moving files, which I loved for organizing a project. It supports EXIF data, so you can search by date or camera 
and it's got a file request feature, great for collecting pics from friends after an event. There isn't an official mobile app yet, but it works in a mobile browser, and there's an outdated Android app if you dig for it. I tested it with 2,000 files, mostly photos, and it was fast and snappy. No hiccups whatsoever. It's cheap too, just a one-time license fee. No subscriptions. File runs for you if you want basic file access with some photo perks, minus the fancy stuff. All right, time for a showdown. We've got Photo Prism, Image, Nextcloud, and File Run in the ring. I'll compare them on ease of use, photo features, performance, multi-user support, and cost. Then we'll figure out which one's best for you based on your specific needs. Let's break it down. Ease of use first. Image wins here. Those mobile apps and intuitive design make it effortless, even if you're new to self-hosting. Photo Prism's web app is gorgeous, but no native app means extra steps like setting up WebDAV or a PWA. Nextcloud's a powerhouse, but the setup and navigation can intimidate beginners. I spent an hour tweaking mine. File runs the simplest. Just upload and go. But it's not flashy. Image takes this round. Photo features? Photo Prism's AI tagging, raw support, and face recognition are unmatched. Perfect for pros. Image is close with mobile backups, sharing, and solid AI. Great for casual users. Nextcloud's memory app offers editing and albums, but it's less specialized. File runs basic. Thumbnails and metadata. No AI. Photo Prism for power. Image for balance. Performance, image and photo prism tie. Image's upload speed rocks. Photo prism's browsing is silky. Nextcloud lags with big libraries unless your server's beefy. File runs light and quick for small stuff. Multi-user, Nextcloud's king. And it's built for teams. If photo prism needs a paid plan, image is free but rough, file runs basic. Cost, all free to start. Just server costs. FileRun's license is a one-time deal. PhotoPrism's extras are optional. So, what's the verdict? PhotoPrism's your pick if you're a photo nerd needing AI and raw support. Image shines for mobile users wanting a Google Photos alternative. Just watch for bugs. Nextcloud's the all-in-one champ. Ideal for families or power users with broader needs. FileRun's perfect for simple file management with photo basics. No frills. My take? Image is for most. Nextcloud is for teams. And PhotoPrism is for pros. And file run is for minimalists. What's your vibe? Drop it in the comments. That's it, guys. If you found this video useful and enjoyed, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on notifications for the next one. I've got more tech goodies coming your way very soon. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you in the next one.